guys. Today is the 15th of March 2021. Uh, officially the NCAA uh, stopped and March Madness is starting. Um, so for us, for me at least, it's not going to be a playable uh, period. Uh, all my picks will probably be from um, NBA and football. And um, let's go to our Google Sheet. It seems that uh, it has been a very um, profitable way, a very profitable model. Uh, it's been working 84 days, 83% profit, uh, even though the last two days um, we it has not been so well. But, you know, this is a trend line. We already made around 1,400 bets over here. And um, it's supposed it's like a downswing, but it's supposed to go up now. So this um, proved to be working very well. Um, I hope this was helpful for everybody, and um, you were able to understand how it works, and uh, at least um, try to build your own model and um, follow something like that. So now on. Um, I'm going to build, I, I will continue uh, from uh, this line over here, from line 1485. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have another test with um, another model, it, my actual model, the one that I used to make the picks that I've been testing for so many years. Um, I will talk a bit right now about the features, some important features that I will use. And um, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to aim for the optimal value. So it's going to be value betting, but we're trying to find the optimal value. It doesn't matter if the odds are 15 or 20 or uh, 1.05. Um, we are trying to find the optimal value in each match and we will follow that. So if we have a successful model, if we have a model that we trust, yes, we can do something like that. So uh, the Google Sheet uh, will be updated with um, the optimal value model picks. So don't start following it. Just um, wait for a week or two weeks. Let's see how it goes. And... Um, then um, you you can start building something like that by yourself or just follow it uh, for as long as I have it. Uh, but I cannot promise you that I will have it forever. Uh, for example, um, this is not the way that I'm betting, but those are models that I'm trying to test. I'm telling you again that I prefer progressive betting, uh, even though when you have a very big ban bankroll, uh, progressive betting is not... Uh, very easy to manage mentally because you have to bet a lot of money but um, value betting or singles um, is the best way when you have a very very big uh, bankroll so let's continue so if you visit this website footballdata.co.uk um, there are some interesting articles over there so one of those is this one, using the wisdom of the crowd to find value in a football match uh, betting market. Uh, I advise everybody to go there and, and read that and read all the articles that are there. They're very informative. Uh, at least they help me uh, uh, proceed as a better, understand better the market and how it works. So uh, if you read this a bit, um, over here, um, you can see uh, how you can find the juice uh, in the markets. So, um, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how you can um, find uh, the percentage, the real percentage of uh, the markets that Bet365 or any bookmaker uh, gives. So, how you can take out the juice and um, find the percentages, the real percentages that uh, the real odds that the bookmakers give, and then compare them with your model and see if there is value or not. Um, but what this article says is that um, there have been uh, some models, some tests from um, proportional, uh, margin weights proportional to the odds. So, this is the one that we use. So what this does is that it finds the juice and um, gives it equally um, to its, uh, divides equally to its um, odd. 
uh, this is what we're doing. Then they they made another test um, with uh, this equation over here using the odds ratio. It's good to, to visit this article and understand what they're doing. Um, then they had a third model using a logarithmic function over here. And then they um, somehow uh, judge those four models and saw that um, this one, logarithmic function, um, was closer to the real odds. So uh, what, I, what I'm doing in my model, the one that I'm using the last years, um, I don't find, I, I don't use um, the equal distribution. I don't, I don't use this first one over here, but I have implied in my um, workflow the translation uh, from the market odds to the logarithmic um, odds, uh, the real odds, but using this logarithmic function. So I will explain you a bit how I do it. So this is an Excel file um, that I use as an interface. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm clearing the data, the data, um, and then I choose a date, and, and then I, I choose where I have some sites that I uh, uh, scrape uh, all the statistics that I want. So and for every day, I just update my matches, and what it does is that it goes um, through every match over here. And then it downloads uh, the matches, um, the current odds, or the closing odds, uh, the opening odds over here. Then I calculate, um, and you can see um, the opening odds here, the opening odds over 2.5, um, under 2.5, opening both uh, odds both teams to score both teams not to score, and then here are the closing odds over here. And then I calculate by myself um, the drop in the odds. So this is like um, the close, the opening odds minus the closing odds in here. So we I can see also the, the drops. Uh, and those, I use them all as features, not as, just as you see them. I, I proceed, I, I I make some procedures. I, I, it's not like I take them and use them. I fix them before I use them as fixtures. Um, so then I I scrape also the last 10 matches for the home team to win, uh, for the away team. Um, and then from uh, I use four different models and try to predict just by statistics um, from, from all the numbers that I get. I try to predict the under 1.5, uh, under 2.5, over 2.5, and all this. Then I have a, another method that I try to calculate the scores. Those are also some different. I, I use the, the previous numbers, the, the statistics, and I try to come up with those numbers. Um, here is another method over here. Um, and generally, this is, this is how I do it. I go through all my statistics and I come up with some numbers over here, as you can see. Then um, I have, of course, another button over here that there is not a macro command, but there is a Python command uh, behind it. So I use like four buttons and it gives me um, all the procedure that I, I want to do. And then by itself, it goes and runs all the calculations, the, the, the AI model, and gives me results to um, the interface that I have, like another Excel file, of course. So, and this is what the AI software gives me. So, it gives me date, time, whatever. Um, this is the final result that it came and I used If um, there is no result that means um, the match hasn't played yet. So um, over here are the whole modes, the, uh, the average of all the bookmakers, the average uh, of the draws of all the bookmakers and the average of the away team of all the bookmakers. 
um, here are my AI percentages. So that, that says that um, the AI software thinks that uh, the home win will be 44%, the draw 28%, and the away team to win 28%. And here, uh, this is the calculations of um, the real home percentages, uh, the real um, home um, odds percentage. The, for the draw, the same, and for the awaiting. And this is the logarithm after the logarithmic function that I showed you. Um, so how, how I'm doing it? I have my AI prediction, and then I have the real odds that, uh, according to this logarithmic function, I have. And then I calculate by myself the margins over here. So if I find a difference, um, between my odds and the real logarithmic function odds. Um, so if they're over 2%, over 7%, over whatever, um, I have it as a peak. So for example, I have tested that I'm looking for an edge of 7%. And um, here you see that this is minus 1, minus 1%. This is 2%, but it's not going to be a peak. You see here, this is 28%. And this is 26. Uh, so the edge is 2%. So, but this is not a peak, you see over here, because I'm looking for 7%. Uh, the edge is calculated uh, over here. So this is a peak, as you can see over here, because the edge is 8% here. Um, here we can see that we have odds, 8% and 18%, but it picks the bigger odds. So we're looking for the optimal value the optimal margin, the optimal edge, the edge that we can have. And um, so th this here is going to be a draw. And um, as you can see, it was a draw and we lost it. Here we won, here we lost it, here we won all those. But you can see that the odds are 3.68, 4.5, 2.35. So it may be a big variance. You need a big bankroll and play like 2%, of course, of it. don't try with 10%, of course, don't try with 5%, even 2% is maybe big if your model is not very good. So this is a test that I'm going to try with um, uh, the, the following days. I'm going to start from tomorrow, the 16th of March, uh, only with football matches. We'll see how it goes. The, this is this is what I'm, I'm going to follow. It seems that uh, I make a back testing over here. And it seems that um, it's it's been winning, so I want to trust it. In, I want to test it in um, unseen data uh, every day, and we'll see how it goes. So let's see how it goes. Um, I will keep this Google sheet updated and check our new experiment. Um, I will have probably an announcement. I will write it here as well so you don't get confused, those that um, don't see the video on time. Uh, I'm also really glad to, to see that many of you uh, have already started with uh, creating models and being successful with those. Um, it's, it feels nice when you send me private messages explaining, explaining me how your model works and uh, what's the success that you have with that. Um, I'm really glad and willing to help you improve it. Um, and one of the things that I would like to say is that um, it, depending on, on your bankroll and on your mental health, you should um, modify your picks. So if you don't have want to have the big variance uh, or you don't have the bankroll to have the, the optimal profit, uh, you should make picks, you should modify your picks to 65% or more or the odds should not be three four five or whatever should be 1.5 to 2 or you should modify according to your model uh, you should modify your picks so um, i'm really glad that you're improving that you're not losing money um, of course i'm saying progressive betting is not for everyone don't try it you need to be um, you need to be strict uh, with your bankroll management, you need to trust your model um, and slowly, slowly build your um, betting mentality. So uh, good luck uh, with your betting. 
um, I wish to to our new model, our new way of uh, betting. Uh, good luck, and I will keep you updated.